Welcome to art class! The best class. Wondrous class. Beautiful, magical class. Class of learning new skills and drawing and painting and sculpting and all kinds of cool techniques. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff we're going to get to. But first, art's fun. Uh, there's some little details. There's some important rules you need to know. So, the first thing is how to make keep everyone safe and happy in art class. Rule number one, it's a general rule for your life. Be respectful, and this is just in normal life you need to be respectful to be a good person. Uh, but who? Who do you need to be respect to in art class? First, you're going to need to be respectful to the teacher. Uh, of course, the teacher's always going to try to be respectful to you, so you be respectful to the teacher. Then you be respectful to the other students, all the other kids in there with you. They're all learning too. Be nice and polite. Then be respectful to yourself. Lots of times kids miss this one and it's really important in art class. So if you're making something, it's okay if you make mistakes and it's hard. What's not okay is being mean to yourself. If you're like, uh, everything I do is terrible and garbage. Uh, I'm so bad at things. That's not okay. Rule number two. Never, 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 ever, never touch someone's art without permission. This goes for their stuff, too. Like, you just shouldn't go around touching people's stuff. It's weird. Like, you wouldn't go to someone's house and touch all their stuff without permission. That's just not, not okay. So, especially in art class, if you touch something that's not yours and it messes it up and it ruins it, there's nothing you can do to fix that because you've messed up someone else's art. So just don't do it. Rule number three, the third rule. Keep your inside voice. So talk like a normal person inside of school. If you're going loud and crazy, no one's going to want to hear that. And it's really distracting and unhelpful. Uh, don't talk while the teacher's talking. Still part of keeping your inside voice. You're going to miss something important if you talk while the teacher is talking to you. So the teacher's probably going to be explaining like like important steps and you're going blah, 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 blah. And you'll have no idea what the teacher said and you won't know what to do and then it'll just waste everybody's time. So listen the first time. Rule number four. Never say I can't just because it's really annoying for the art teacher to have to listen to someone say I can't do it over and over and over again. And it's okay if it's hard. Like if you're like this is too hard and I can't do it. That's that's different from just being like this is hard and I need help. You know, if you say it's just I can't do it and you didn't even try, well that I, nobody wants to hear that and it's not supposed to be easy right if you're if you're doing easy stuff you're not learning rule number five rule number five is be kind and school appropriate uh, so do things that are okay for school no hitting no talking rudely if you're talking to someone think of their feelings and like don't say stuff you know is gonna make them upset uh, don't say any curse words or violent things. You just know you're at school. Don't do that stuff. You just, you can't, you can't say things that you know. Even if you do it at home, it's not okay at school. Rule number six. Last one. Rule number six is be responsible. It has a lot of different parts to it, but it's the last rule. Be responsible. Okay, so first part of be responsible is doing your best. You come to class every day. You try your hardest. Even if, like we said in an earlier one, if stuff's hard for you, that's okay. You just try. You don't you don't have to like freak out because it's hard. You try your best. Uh, get your work done. Do what you're supposed to be doing. If you're sitting around playing or talking and you're wasting your whole time doing that, well, it's not going to be very surprising when later you go to show your teacher your project and you didn't get anything done. So. Do your work when you're supposed to be doing it. Uh, ask questions if you need help. So if you're sitting there and you don't know what to do on the next step, you forgot, even if you were paying attention, you might have forgot. That's okay. Don't just stare at the wall and sit there and do nothing. That's not helpful to you. 
ask for help because the teacher is not a psychic. They won't just figure it out magically that you need help. You need to ask. Or you could even ask your neighbor. So you could just turn to your neighbor and ask them. And hopefully they were listening and they know the next step. Um, clean up after yourself and help others. So if you make a mess, you need to clean it up. You know, even if it's a little mess, clean it up right then so that it doesn't become a bigger mess later. You know, don't be the kind of person who's like, oh, I dropped something on the floor, but it's not my problem. Or I didn't drop that, but I'm not picking it up. That's not cool. And follow directions. Obviously, in class, you're going to get projects. The teacher's going to tell you how to do the project and what supplies to use. If you just don't do that, well, you're not going to get a good grade. Okay, so we use the ART system here, spells art, obviously, and it's a system to help us control noise level in the art classroom, because I know it's really fun doing art, and sometimes you get a little too excited. So first, if an A goes up, A means that it's just, it's just a little, it's a little too loud, you need to quiet down. It's just a warning, nobody's in trouble or anything. So A is quiet down. R comes next, that means, okay, really? This is your last warning. It's it's too loud and you, you have to calm down or there's going to be some punishment. Then if you get the T, that's it. That's talking time out for the rest of class. You don't get to talk. You don't get to talk to your neighbor. And there's no more storytelling or talking. Uh, what if you don't follow the rules? Well, I know everyone's going to try their best to follow the rules, but just in case, you get three strikes. So that means... You get some time before you get bad punishments, right? The first time is just a warning. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. You're just going to get a verbal warning. That means they're going to tell you to stop. Then the second one is you get a little punishment like a note home or you have to move chairs or something like that. Third one, that's the big stuff. You get a trip to the office or a phone call or one of those punishments. That's a big deal. I'm sure that won't happen. So you need to be an art star following all these rules. They're really simple. They're ones you should follow all the time anyway. You know, it's not hard stuff to do. Um, really, it's going to be a great year. I think we're all going to have a fantastic year. Oh, first, uh, when you come into the art room, a few things to remember to help you um, come in and get off on the right foot. Just come in quietly, not yelling like crazy people. If you do that, then you'll already be ready to listen to the teacher when they start telling you the instructions like right off the bat. So come in quiet. Check. Sit in your assigned seat if you have one. You might not have an assigned seat, but if you do, sit in it. It's obvious if the teacher gave you that seat, that's where they want you to sit. Don't go in some other chair to be funny or silly. No one's going to think that's amusing. Keep your hands to yourself. There's a lot of supplies in the art room. Don't touch them. That's another part of the don't touch stuff without permission thing. The teacher does not want you touching the stuff if the teacher's not ready for you to touch it. So keep your hands to yourself, even in your lap maybe. Wait for instructions. Again, so if the teacher has supplies out for you, don't start drawing unless the teacher's told you that she's ready for you to start drawing. Okay, yeah. I think we're going to have a fantastic year. And I'm glad all of you are here. Woo! Okay, guys. Bye.